snowman minus cold equals puddle spring equations it is written by Laura Purdy Salas that's me and illustrated by Misha Archer and it's published by Charles Bridge and I'm sharing a few of the equations not the entire book and a writing activity with the permission of Charles Bridge Publishing. So I am here on my treadmill desk so you might see me move a little bit and I'm going to share a few spreads from this book a few pages and each one has a little equation poem and then a little bit more information about that topic. So I'm going to start with the title poem, Snowman minus Cold equals Puddle. And the note says, water is a shapeshifter. In northern winters it might fall as snow. But when spring temperatures rise above freezing, snow melts into water. Sad news for snowmen. Okay. All right, here's another one. Bark plus beak equals drum. Tap, tap, tap. A downy woodpecker digs for bugs in a tree. Tap, 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 tap. It drums faster in spring to claim its territory or attract a mate. Sky plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose, plus goose, plus goose equals arrow. Each spring, many geese migrate north to gobble up tender, tasty new grasses. Geese fly in a V for speed. The front birds' air currents help carry the back birds. They all take turns in front and back. And this one. Bush times bloom equals perfume. Lilac blooms are spring's perfume. The sweet scent invites insects and birds to visit. These important visitors track pollen from flower to flower, like tracking mud from room to room. Humans just enjoy the wonderful smells. And we'll do just a couple more. Let's see. Oh, here's one of my favorites. Maybe my favorite art from the whole book. This one is one dandelion times one breath equals 100 parachutes. And I'm going to repeat that one because I think it froze. One dandelion times one breath equals 100 parachutes. Dandelions are a weedy, seedy sign of spring. Plants spread their seeds in many ways. Dandelion seeds float on the wind or your breath. One seed might drift 500 miles before landing. And the very last equation in the book is you plus the world equals, and I did not answer that equation, it's just a question mark. Spring changes the world, and it might change you too. What happens when you explore the wonders of spring? That's an equation only you can solve. And then there's also a little bit of back matter with information from both Misha and me and a little bit more information about spring. Now, what I want to share with you is that you could perhaps write your own equation poems. Um, so, let's see here. I'm going to share with you a few poems uh, written with students in large groups when I've done author visits 
uh, over the past year. So usually what I like to do is start with brainstorming if I'm writing about a kind of factual topic. So here we were writing about cheetahs and so we just brainstormed some of the facts that we knew about cheetahs. And these were done very quickly. But that's one thing I love about equation poems is you can write them quickly. And here are some poems that students contributed. Fast plus feline equals cheetah. Cheetah minus gazelles equals less cheetahs because if the gazelles disappear, the cheetahs don't have their main food source, right? Uh, cheetah minus savanna, so what happens if they don't have their home? Um, one person said, well, they could live in the jungle too. Uh, and another young poet said, then maybe the only ones that would be left would be in zoos. Let's look at a few more. Um, ball plus hoop equals basketball. Uh, oh, this is fun. Shoot plus swish equals basketball. Oops. Uh, down here, I was working with some students who were in Minnesota from the sum for the summer, but who live in Texas. And so they put a Texas twist on a lot of their equation poems. Texas plus football equals Dallas Cowboys. And Texas plus car ride equals Minnesota. So these kids had all made a very long trek from Texas up to Minnesota for the summer. Um, bunny, again, we did just a little tiny bit of brainstorming here, just listed a few things that came to mind when we thought about bunny rabbits. And uh, some of the student poems, carrots plus long ears equals bunny. Honey plus B minus H equals bunny. So sometimes uh, young writers, and me, <laughs> like to play around with the word itself. Uh, bunny minus ears equals rat. Without the cute ears, they didn't think a bunny was nearly as cute. And uh, bunny plus bunny equals rabbit, because you will have more bunnies. And we'll look at just one more uh, list here. Oh, here were some more cheetah ones. Um, Cheetah plus wings equals griffin. That's a mythical creature that's like a mix of a lion and an eagle, so kind of close to a cheetah. Uh, cheetah plus hat equals cat and hat. <laughs> um, on the baseball ones, let's see, summer minus baseball equals boring. So sometimes your own emotions or opinions can go into your equation poems. They don't have to be just facts. Uh, baseball plus rain equals tears. Baseball plus ninth inning grand slam equals miracle. Um, so those are just a few examples. And maybe there is something that you are thinking about um, that you could write some equation poems about. And if you like, um, you could, if you would like to share yours publicly online, you could have your grown up at home or your teacher come to my website. And so they would come to laurasalis.com slash snowman. And I have this kind of bulletin board. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's pop. Okay, trying this again since that um, demonstration <laughs> failed. Um, if you want to add a poem, and again, this would be your grown up at home or your teacher, um, you just come to laurasalis.com slash snowman, and you find an open space around these other poems that are already there. So find a little open space and you double click and it will open. And you can put uh, your name if you want. And then you come down here. And if I say technology plus Laura equals surprise, because I never know what's going to happen. Um, but you can enter your 
equation poem and then just click outside and it will be there. It might not show up right away because I will have to approve it. Okay, but I will read it and approve it and then you can show it to other people. Okay, thanks so much. I hope you have some fun exploring equation poems.